Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new PDCGO video. Today guys, we're going to be looking at my Blastoise deck here. Um, in yesterday's video on the Aegis Slash Sheninja deck, um, we played against a similar version of this deck. I've had this Blastoise Bill Fan Club Engine deck uh, actually built for quite a while now on PDCGO. And I ran into someone yesterday who had a similar build using the Fan Club Bill setup. And uh, I like this build a lot and uh, we're going to try it out here today. So really... It's your typical Blastoise deck. It got Keldeo GX with Unified Mind, so it got a bit of an upgrade. Keldeo is a really good card for this deck. Being able to prevent any damage done to it by GXs is really good. And of course, we have that Blastoise GX, that big one-shot attacker. And uh, we are going to be using Pokemon Fan Club here to possibly get our Squirtles into play. Squirtles a little hard to find thanks to Brooklyn Hill and Death Ball leaving, but we can use Fan Club to find them. And we are going to be using the Build Analysis also in combination with that to find rare candies and also just thinning items out of the deck in the late game can be really good because it increases the odds of finding Water Energy off of Powerful Squall. So yeah, that is that. So for the video, of course, share to our sponsor, Cardcraft and TCG, guys, as always, if you're ever in any of any PCGO codes. If you're trying to pre-order Cosmic Eclipse codes, pre-order them over at Cardcraft and TCG. You can pre-order them one by one, or you can get a lot of 50 uh, Cosmic Eclipse codes that you can pre-order over at Cardcraft and TCG. It is the place to pre-order Cosmic Eclipse codes. They have all the other PCGO code goodness stuff, like GX codes and sleeve codes. Um, you might be able to snag a Trev Dust Dustnor code, maybe, if you're lucky, if they have them in stock. Um, if you get anything from Card Carbon TCG, make sure to use code LDF for a 5% discount on your order. Supports the channel, helps yourself out, helps Card Carbon out. They do have a IRL singles website that I also have linked down below too. So yeah, shout out to Card Carbon TCG, the sponsor on the channel, use code LDF. So let's look at the list here. So Blastoise GX does kind of gain a new partner in Cosmic Eclipse with uh, the Blastoise Piplum GX. Uh, but for now, we have a few other attackers like, of course, Keldeo GX, Volcanium Prism Star, and Blastoise GX, its other partner in crime. Now, the problem with the Blastoise Blastoise build is you have to, you know, use multiple Squirtles to get both Blastoises into play. But the Blastoise GX is a good attacker. It's got 270 HP because of the ability Solid Shell, and Rocket Splash to 60, and then you shuffle any amount of Water G attached to your Pokemon into your deck, doing 60 damage for each one you've shuffled in. So this attack can just one-shot a lot of things. Um, it's your big sweeper card of the deck. Um, Keldeo is a great wall Pokemon, and Volcanion can be really good too with Sonic Blast and Jet Geyser. Now, I have thrown in a uh, Lapras in here just as a tech card. Using Confuse Ray early on can be really good to buy time. You can also use Hydro Pump as a nice non-GX attack um, in the late game. That's kind of why that guy is in here. I just like the prize trade even it out. I am using two War Turtles. I really find this important if you can, you know, miss Rare Candy, you can stay in a War Turtle in play. That'll help you out quite a bit too, and just hope it doesn't get customed out. That's pretty much that. I am playing one Mew, of course, protect our bench, and two Dedenes. Dedene is so good in here. Two Dedenes is really useful. Being able to just Dedene change is so good in this deck. It's just insane. Um, I just for the Pokemon. There's a lot of other water types. I know some people like the Palkia GX right now with Hydro Pressure. Uh, that is an option. Um, there is also the ability, of course, to play the Mew 2 GX package and use Mew 2 to copy Blastoise GX, and you can also use Kingdra. Um, that build is more focused towards using Mewtwo instead of the Blastoise Toolbox um, with all these different water basics. That's why I don't play the Mew3. I know that Mew3 deck is good, but you have to play the Mew3, then we have to play Jirachi. You have to commit to that. I don't really like that too much, but the Mew3 box build is pretty good too. Um, I don't know how, why I haven't made a video on that, but you can play that too. But I just like keeping it straightforward with our attackers. Having the split of non-GX attackers too is really good to even out the prizes. Uh, we got two Cherish Balls, Find a Dene, and Blastoise GX, and Keldeo. Two Customs. I mean, it's debatable if you really even need this. Honestly, I never really use it with this deck, but, you know, custom is good when you need it. Uh, one energy recycler to get your energy back. Uh, four Pokecom. Sadly, the only good search this deck is Pokecom to help find us our Pokemon. We do have four rare candies, though, to get our Blastoise play. One reset stamp to stamp them in the late game. We have one switch wrapped as our switching option because it heals 30 damage. Now, the stadium is also debatable if you need it. Two Lysair Labs. I just really have this here because Spell Tag to be an issue, also possibly preventing Shedinja, stuff like that. I don't really know if you really need this stadium though, like it's debatable if you really need this, but you can cut it, but it's also good to counter like other stadiums, like the only other stadium you could probably play in here is Viridian Forest, but I don't know other than that. Uh, we are playing 3 Bill, of course to set up 3 Bill, 3 Fan Club, 4 Cynthia, and 2 Erica. The reason I like having Erica, if your opponent has a full board of Pokemon and you have Rare Candy or a Blastoise in your hand and you Erica draw five or six cards and draw into your rare candy it's just so good it's better than just shuffling your hand back into your deck to find your pieces it's better to just already have one in your hand and then try to draw into it with erica that's why erica is so good and i am playing 13 water energy 
you just you need a lot of water gene in this deck for powerful squall of course to build up your pokemon so i'm going with 13 usually lists will play 12 i've just gone the extra mile just thrown in 13 the extra energy really goes a long way because when you powerful squall for no energy on for your blastoise gx it's a feels batman moment but yeah this is the blastoise list that i've gone with here it's a really cool deck and of course from cosmic Kill comes out we're going to probably revisit this archetype with the blastoise piplup card but yeah let's go show it off on pc joe and see this deck in action Alright guys, we're gonna get into a game here, right as I, it took me like two minutes to get to the game, and right as I pressed stop recording, it put me right into a game, so, yeah, but it looks like we're up against Mew3 here, now, the tricky thing about the matchup is, of course, cross division is a bit of a problem, um, we'll have to see how that goes, though, we are gonna get a, uh, bill start, not ideal, but we'll take it. We do have Keldeo here. Keldeo might be able to do some things if my opponent doesn't play the Greninja GX. Then all they have is Double Blaze and Custom Catchers. So Keldeo might be the key here, depending on if they're playing the Greninja GX or not. We'll have to see. I'm not really a fan of the turn one Bill compared to like a turn one Cynthia or a turn one Fan Club to get a few Squirtles, but it is what it is. Okay, so they are playing the Psychic build. Well, actually, it doesn't matter. They played Water Energy in the other build, too. We'll have to see how we do, though. We do have a bill, and we have a Caldeo. So Caldeo most likely won't get KO'd here unless they get a double Blaze off. So we'll have to see. I know we'll get Reset Stamp, but that would be kind of good. We could bill into a Pokecom, though. Any Cherish Ball to get to Dene, and ooh, that was a really bad draw. If I have to discard this hand, I have to lose my Energy Recycler. Uh, but no, we do get Cynthia and Fan Club for next turn. Okay. Then we just gotta hope Caldeo doesn't get knocked out here. That's uh, pretty much that. Then we can Fan Club for two Squirtles. Alright, I would have preferred to get like a Cynthia and a Poke Combo, whatever. My post actually gonna play Switch when they had a Fury Tree cost. Okay. And a super scoop up of all cards. Okay, that gets tails. This is a very weird list. And a lily. What? Okay, so hold on. They need all the extra energy, right? If this Pokemon is at least three extra fire. Yeah. All right. Well, safe to say they aren't knocking me out with double blaze this turn. And now that that Charizard's in play, we can custom catcher that out at some point. KO it. See what they discard here. Dragonite gets discarded. Ooh, they lose two custom catchers. This is a very weird Mew 3 list, though, with great potions and super scoop-ups. This is a very, very weird Mew 3 list. So they can't damage me here. Unless they, uh... Yep, they can't damage me. The Espeon Deoxys, though, is a little annoying, but we are going to get two Squirtles, so at the very least they can only cross-division one of those Squirtles. They do have three cards in their hand, so they might not even have a welder to go double blaze next turn to knock me out. So we should live here. Like, there's no way we're getting knocked out this turn. They could clear vision me. I hope they actually do that, and they, they won't have to worry about double blaze and cross division. But uh, they probably won't. No, they're going to star search, which does actually help them out a little bit, get to that double blaze. But this is fine. Let's see what we draw. Lysander Labs. Something we don't need right now. Alright, let's fan club. Get the double Squirtle. We need to get both of them in play. I guess we could also still lose both Squirtles to a cross division. But then the Keldeo can't really get KO'd. So then it, we can just wall with Keldeo. So it might be okay. We'll just pass. We'll save the Lysander Labs just in case. We should probably save it actually to Bomb Giant Hearth. Alright, so my opponent needs to get two energy here in order to knock me out or cross division the Squirtles. They got nothing with that Cherish Ball for another Lily. Alright, safe to say we aren't getting knocked out here. Awesome. They get rid of another Reshizard and a Mew 3. Okay. So they can cross division here. Let's see if they go for it. I hope they cross division. <laughs> they cannot get one Squirtle. That's okay though. 
Kelio might honestly be immortal this entire game. No, they're smart enough to know that the cross vision won't work. Dang it. Oh, wait, they're actually going to put energy on the Espeon Deoxys, though. Uh, ooh, that was a good top deck. Again, they can still cross division knock me out, which is, I mean, not fun, but we'll try to get another squirrel down here. Well, Cynthia, before we do the powerful squall. Okay, this is a fine hand. I guess we'll lose our custom catcher plays. Do I go for Dedene? Is it a good idea to do Dedene? He's already played two customs. Yeah, I'm gonna go. <coughs> I'm gonna go Dedene. <coughs> All right, let's see what Powerful Squall gives me. One Water Energy. All right, we'll put that on War Total, I guess. So yeah, we're gonna lose a custom catcher. So that means we don't have double custom anymore, but that's fine. Uh, yeah, we'll do this. We'll get ourselves a Squirtle. I mean, it might not be a good idea to get Squirtle just because of... I guess he can go... He could cross vision both the War Troll and the Squirtle, but that's fine. And we'll Sonic Edge. And I guess we can Resolute Blade him next turn and finish him off. Actually, to be fair, our hand here isn't looking too good. If he double blazes me... I guess we can still fan club for Dedene, never mind. I was going to say, because we don't have any more Dedene, but we can double blaze. Or we can now uh, fan club for another Dedene here. My opponent will Great Potion, that's fine. We can still try to knock single Blastoise GX. So they have to double blaze me here to knock me out. Or they can cross division, knock out War Turtle and Squirtle. And it looks like they're going to go cross division, so we can take out this Mew 3 here with Resolute Blade. And they can also knock out the Blastoise. I don't really see a point of that. Yeah, they actually just concede the game. They're just like, no, but then I can't knock out the Keldeo. Oh, boo-hoo. Boo-hoo. Oh, they had Naganadel. Well, good thing we had Mew, so we would just grab Mew with Fan Club there. Mew to Dene. They did have two stamps. This was a really weird list. Uh, anyways, see you guys in another game. All right, guys, let's go do some more matches with Blastoise here, We're getting that win against Mew 3. It's kind of cool. And, ooh, we're up against a fire deck. That's good. It's looking likely this is going to be a, a, bill, a green czar deck, sorry. We could actually make them go first. But we're going to go first because we want to get the turn two off on them, which is a lot better. Started with Mew, that's fine. And we do have a fan club turn one. We actually have a pretty good hand. We have all four of our supporters in our hand, which is kind of cool. So we have a lot of options next turn, I guess, depending on what happens here. But the good news is we have a turn one fan club, and that is all that matters. I would like to play Poke Gear in this deck, but again, you have to play a lot of energy, and a lot of energy does kind of clunk up what other like items and stuff you want to play. All right, let's see here. More water energy. That's not amazing. Uh, we'll just get the double Squirtle. It's one of those matchups where that Lapras could actually shine too. We have both Squirtles. We'll probably attach to the Mew so we can possibly retreat, or even Psy Power could be useful. That extra 30 damage could go a long way. Maybe just getting like 30 damage on a Reshizard will be good. I would have made them go first, but it's still better to go first because we can still then try to Rare Candy and a Blastoise and stuff. Just a Flare Starter, okay. So we can Bill, possibly hit a Cherish Ball and a Rare Candy. But because we don't have a Blastoise piece in our hand, I don't really think I want to do Bill. To be honest with you. If we had a Blastoise in our hand, I would probably play the bill to try and find a rare candy. But we just don't. And they're actually going to put energy on the active, which is interesting. Now we'll attach one energy to Squirtle. We'll probably just play the Cynthia. Okay, nice. We did get rare candy Blastoise. Will my opponent have a KO, though, on it? That is the question that is going to be interesting to see if it gets answered. Now, we'll play Powerful Squall just to fit. Holy, wow, three energy. Uh, we'll go one here. We'll put two on two on the Blastoise, too. We can probably threaten a uh, Powerful... We can knock it off. We can knock it Hydro Tracker next turn. And we'll just side power. We'll put 30 damage on the other Zard. The reason I'm doing this is because we can maybe knock it out with Keldeo GX a little bit easier if we ever need to Resolute Blade it. We'll 
see what happens. Ideally, we want to knock out this Volcanian with our Volcanian. Or Lapras. My opponent will need... Right, they, they, they could have the green and the energy. They could Custom Catcher, Double Blaze, knock out this Blastoise. That's why I spread out the energy like that, because then if I get another Rickety Blastoise, I can just get another Blastoise play, just Hydro Tackle, knock out the Zard. That is why I did that. So, we'll see if that happens or not. No, they're just going to knock out my Mew, which is fine. So we can knock him out with Hydro Tackle here. Doesn't really seem like a good idea, though. I think we're just going to bring in the Squirtle and try to hit something good here. Like Keldeo. That is a good card to hit. Uh, well, Cynthia before a powerful Squall. Try and draw all the items out of the deck. Yep, there we go. Or we get Blastoise GX. Actually, that works, too. Yeah, this is... <laughs> A pretty good start on our end. We didn't even need build to set up, and we already have a pretty OP start on my opponent. My opponent's already like, yep, you have a good deck. Not much they can do. Nope, nope, no siri. Uh, we'll probably just keep one energy on Blastoise. Why not? Just a rocket splash here. Yeah, this is pretty big for my opponent. <laughs> now, they also... Well, they could knock me out with double blaze. It is likely they would need an energy... They need three energy and a welder. So they could knock me out here if they do. Um, I don't know actually if they do what to do. We'll see. It might have been best to go with Keldeo instead of the Blastoise GX just in case they do get the knockout, but we can just knock them out with Hydro Tackle. Not a big deal. Let's see. They do get a Poke Gear. All they need to do is get three energy and a welder. They didn't, they actually haven't attached in a few turns since they did their first turn flare starter. So we'll see if they get there. They have the welder. Now they just need three fire energies to get the knockout here with double blaze. Let's see if they get it. If they do, we stamp them to three. I guess we could then bring in the Caldeo because they technically can't get knocked out anymore unless he goes with another, unless my opponent goes with another Volcanian here. So I guess there is that. Or they play Power Plant. Okay. I completely forgot this card existed. Ooh, just an Outrage. Yeah, it's not good for them. No survey. <gasps> no! We did hit an energy? Oh, no, no. How could you? Um, okay. Okay, that's fine. We can just do this. Erica for two. There we go. One, two, one, two. We just need the three, right? 60, 120... 180, yeah, we just need three. And again, we'll keep the energy on this guy to threaten the Hydro Tackle knockout. Though I guess he could custom the other Blaster so knock it out, but he would need... There, My point is going to need, like, double custom and a lot of stuff. Yes. <laughs> Good thing I did not have to do to Dene there, because I would have lost quite a bit of stuff. And there he is, the Concede. Once again... Blastoise taking out a top deck. I mean, when the deck... When Blastoise sets up, man, it is pretty powerful. It really is. It really is. Yeah, they have two power plants. So, yeah. Well, yeah, as you can see, when Blastoise sets up, man, it's like... It is really good. It's just getting to the part where you set up. That's about that. But as usual, Blastoise can cream water de or fire decks. Alright, guys, let's go do another game with the Blastoise deck. I had another game against Green Zard. Um, where I accidentally played a Dene down on a power plant, but then the next turn I drew a Cynthia. But, uh, that game went by so fast, they just conceded immediately, so I was like, alright, whatever. I'm not gonna include it, but just a funny moment. And, oh no, we're up against a Grass deck. Now, Grass and Psychic... I don't know what this is. This probably is Lost March, but then there's no colorless, so I actually have no clue. I get, like, it could be a, uh, possible Alolan Exeggutor Rowlet deck. We'll have to see if we can beat that. We'll have to see if we can take out a grass deck, because why not? We've already won two games of the deck, so we've already shown off the deck pretty well here. So, at this point, we might as well just try for the best. 
We'll see what it is. Is it going to be a little to route it? No, it's going to be Buzmos, a Dustin, or a Trev. Okay. Well, assuming they don't get like a turn one attack off here, we do have a pretty good hand, which is good. Yeah, I guess we'll touch. We do have a good hand here, I would say. Okay, so they're playing the Trev Dustnor deck. How did I not know that? I don't know, considering I already did a video on that deck. I don't know how I didn't know that, but we have a good hand. Well, actually, I'd probably prefer to not uh, play to Dede, I guess, but at the same time, I don't want to pull Comet away. It could just be a Quad Buzzmosa deck, though, too. We'll see. It could just be Quad Buzzmosa. You never know. It's most likely going to be the Trev Dustnor build, though, because everyone wants to try that deck out, you know, while it's still kind of fresh. I mean, we might lose this hand this turn thanks to Reset Stamp, but if they don't get the turn one Dust Trev off, that'd be really good. Okay, so yeah, it is going to be a Buzzmosa deck. Okay, good to know. And they get a green, so yeah, they actually have a pretty OP start here. They might even get a turn one KO on my Volcanian, which is not good. Their start is looking pretty good. Yep, double Dust Stone. I guess we just hope they don't find Beast Ring. To knock out my Volcadian. Because then we'll have to try, try to attack him with Blastoise GX. I mean, ideally, though, if we can draw a Blastoise here, that'd be really good. Because then we can get double Blastoise. Because Blastoise GX might be the only attacker here that can take out these Buzzmosas in time. So that's going to be our game plan. Okay, we're going to get a few prizes, assuming they don't reset Stammy to four. Another energy is not really helping. Are they going to KO the other Miss Magius? Another Pokey Gear. They've already played their supporter, so they can't do like a Lieutenant Surge or anything. Hmm. They play Scoop Ups. And they get heads. Oh, okay. Kind of random to see. I guess I get the idea. Because if they don't want shit, if they don't want the Buzzmos, they can just heal it and then just reuse it with Beast Ring. Ooh, we got a Counter Stadium. I was kind of hoping we find a Pokemon there. Oh, no, but they reset Stadium to four. That's annoying. We got the Blast Toys. We have an Erica, I guess, which might draw us at two cards. Okay. Ooh. Never mind. Uh, we're just going to evolve that Squirtle just because I don't want it to get knocked out. Erica for two into a Dedene. Oh, wow. <laughs> we actually got it. We have a Cynthia, but it's going to get discarded. I don't like having to Dene and Plague, and it's an easy uh, target, but whatever. Oh, we didn't get any War Trolls or anything, though. That's kind of unfortunate. Powerful Squall it is. One energy. All right, whatever. It's better than nothing. We can do a whopping 40 damage here because we didn't get the Lysair Labs. Cool. Still, though, we got the Blastoise in play, which is the important thing. We draw another rare candy here. We can get this other Blastoise in play. I do want to find that Blastoise GX. That's how we're going to win the game. Blastoise GX. If we knock out this Buzzmosa before they get a Beast Ring off, that's going to be how we're going to win the game. Okay, they're going to green. That is going to get them Beast Ring, unfortunately. We'll see if they stamp me again. This game might be harder to win because they are going to get the other Buzzmosa powered up, which is what I was scared would happen. Oh, they're going to build up a beast game. Ooh, this makes me really want to get the Blastoise GX into play. Of course, they get heads on scoop up. Well, whatever. They're healing 20 damage. whoop de doo Ooh, Duststone fails. Okay. All right, what else are they going to do? Are they going to knock me out? Yes, they are. So... If we can talk about Blastoise GX here, we pretty much win the game, I would like to say. It's not looking very likely right now. We can also get Caldeo GX into play, which is really good. Alright, we're gonna Cynthia first. Yeah, 
Yeah, we didn't get the rare candy. It's fine. We have Keldeo here, which might be able to save us. But they do have the option to double custom me again, though. So we just gotta watch out for that, I guess. Oh, the whammy! The triple energy off the Keldeo. Or off the powerful squall. Well, they might be playing power plant, though, too. That's an issue. <laughs> We just gotta watch out for that, too. Alright, we're gonna get a War Turtle now. I mean, that is gonna be an Erica for like a three-card hand, probably, but whatever. They might even- they might even stand me again if they go like with another Miss Magius. This forces them to actually get rid of their Life Forest and get a Power Plant in play if they want to knock me out. We were super close to killing them. If we actually got the Rickany Blastoise there, or got the Blastoise to play earlier, we would have knocked them out, because that triple energy would have gave us a knockout. But if they're going to beast energy all the way to here, we might be okay. They might have double custom to knock out my powerful Squall here. No, they won't. They're going to get Alicia. Okay, do they have a double custom catcher in their hand, or do they have, like, another Miss Magius? They can Miss Magius into the double custom catcher. Or they could, like, hit the Dedenne here, knock it out, and then just threaten the beast game win. But at the same time, we now got this Buzzmosa, they can't do any more B-Strings, and that's going to be really good for us. So let's see what they do. Choice Helmet, that's fine. I have two Lysner Labs in the deck for a reason. Even though they already, they're already they heavily damaged, so it doesn't really matter. Do they have a Power Plant in their hand? That would be hilarious if they did. They do not. It's probably going to Jet Punch my uh, Squirtle. No, they're going to hit the Blastoise. I'm mean. Alright, let's see so Erica first. We didn't get the Blastoise GX. That's not good. I could No, I can't confuse right though, never mind. Alright, well powerful squall for nothing. <laughs> Rip. And I guess we'll just hit him with Sonic Edge again. Goes right through the choice helmet thanks to uh the effect. That's unfortunate we didn't get there, but the Caldeo's putting in work right now. Oh, there's double custom. So they're most likely in a beast game, my Blastoise. Which is actually... We could still knock this thing out with Blastoise GXO, even if they do that. And we can also we can stamp them here too, which is good. They're not winning the game here, right? Like I'm pretty sure they're only taking three prizes or four. Wow, that was a big draw. That was a big, big draw. Okay, so go here. Stamp him to one. Hit the Blastoise GX. Oh, you were 10 damage off of knocking him out with Keldeo. That's really sad. We'll get to Dene and Mew because the Mew will prevent them from jet punching. And all we need to do now is just get another Blastoise GX into play. Which we do get. Or not another Blastoise, just another like team of Blastoise, I meant. Okay. If that reset stamp gave them a uh, good card, I am going to throw my game out the window. But we'll see. My reset stamps always suck, so I wouldn't be surprised if it did. But I don't even know if they have much energy left either. That's the other thing. We're gonna rocket splash. Two. One. That's all we need. Okay, this should be about game at this point. We've stamped them to one. They are very low on energy. I don't really see what else they can do at this point in time. Come on, if I stamp them into a Miss Magius... Well, actually, I win the game if that happens, so yeah, never mind. Oh, they got a treasure. But we win if they do this, so it's not a big deal. 
course, though, they drew the treasure to get out of this, but still, we win. Yep. So, not even a grass deck could win. I think my opponent's big mistake there was not building up the other Buzzmosa. I know they wanted to go for that big beast game KO, but they really should have powered up the other Buzzmosa, and that probably would have saved them from getting smoked by the Blastoise. We do have four uncommon chests open, which is pretty lit. I mean, after that game, I think we're wrapping the video there. We kind of showed off the deck pretty well, I think. We showed off the fan club setup and everything pretty well. We got three games with the deck. Well, I guess first two games weren't very long. Still, we showed off why this deck has potential uh, because, you know, it has that good Reshizard matchup sometimes. Blastoise GX just bodies everything in its path. Pretty good stuff. Um, we'll keep the video nice and short today, I guess. Ooh, Porygon Z, not bad. But yeah, Blastoise, definitely like the deck. Give it a try. If you haven't already, I know the Mew 3 water box Blastoise build is also, you know, pretty decent. Um, but if you want to keep it nice and simple and play this build, you know, you have the option to have these non-GX attackers, stuff like that. Definitely try out this version instead if you want. Uh, but yeah, that'll wrap up the video. If you enjoyed, make sure you like on the video. Don't forget to subscribe down below. How we're reaching 6,000 subscribers. And as always, guys, make sure to check out our sponsor card here in TCG. Use code LDF at the checkout if you get anything from there. Um, and I'll see you guys in the PDCGO video. Have a good day. That's going to be it for the Blastoise video. Also, follow me on Twitter down below, too. I forgot to mention that. That'll be it for the Blastoise deck. I guess the Lapras isn't needed, but I don't know what else you would take out. But anyways, thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Have a good day. See ya.